back and now we're going to go up close and personal with Eric Zavaleta. And Eric, when most athletes come here to get interviewed, they come in a polo kind of similar to mine. Tell me a little bit about the t-shirt you have on right now. Yeah, no, this uh, t-shirt is actually for Tom Morris. Um, he's our weights and conditioning guy. Um, and he was actually in a severe uh, bike accident um, early uh, last year. And um, we created these t-shirts to do a fundraiser to help him out financially a little bit with uh, some of his recovery. Three weeks into the season and you've already been named Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week twice. How have you been able to avoid the sophomore slump? You know, I, I got to give a lot of credit to my teammates. Um, I think that we've done a really good job as a team um, and, and ultimately that I found myself in good positions to, to, get, to get good stats and, and to score goals and, and, and we found wins because of it. Last year you were named Big Ten Freshman of the Year and you've already been named to the Herman Award watch list which is basically the Heisman Trophy for college soccer. Yeah. A lot of players like to, uh, to fly more under the radar. How are you dealing with that pressure? Does, is it added motivation or just added stress? No, I, I think it's an added motivation. Um, I mean, I, I'm honored to um, have received the Big Ten Freshman of the Year last year and, and to be um, added to this list this year is, is definitely something that means I'm doing something right. And, uh, and I think that this year it, it gives me motivation to, to continue to build on my success that I created last year. At 6'1", you are significantly taller than most forwards who play soccer. Is that more of an advantage or a disadvantage? Oh, I use it as an advantage. Um, I think that I, use, I play forward um, with my body, and I think a big frame that I have and, and being able to win balls in the air and, and fight off defenders um, makes it an easier job for me, and I think that using my size to my advantage is something that definitely that, um, is a big part of my game. This summer, you trained in L.A. with the Chivas USA system with teammate A.J. Corrado. Right. What was it like playing with professionals? Oh, it's great. I mean, you can tell they're professionals. They come in every day and, and, and they, um, they do this for a living and, and they come in every day working hard. And so um, it's definitely something that we, I could learn from. And, and AJ and I definitely took it as a, an experience that we could um, bring to the team this year. You played in the Home Depot Center, which is the premier center for soccer in the USA. What was the coolest thing about playing there? Oh, I think that uh, it's, it was cool having the Galaxy there as well, um, seeing guys around the, the facilities. Um, but also their facilities are incredible. Um, their, their weight room and to their field, to, to their stadium is an, is an awesome atmosphere and it's one of the best in the country, if not the best. Your uncle is an assistant coach for the team. What is the best advice he's given you about playing soccer, especially on the professional level? Yeah, no, I, I think uh, I think it's important um, that he told me that you just got to take things one step at a time and, and enjoy your time in college. Um, he was a three and a half year college uh, player and, and ended up going pro. And uh, I think it's just important that he told me to enjoy these years and um, the rest will come. Thanks, Eric.